Tom King, president of the New York State Rifle and Pistol Association, is with us on the program tonight. How are you, Tom? Pretty good. How about you, Cam? I'm good. Uh, thanks for coming on the show this evening. Oh, not a, not a problem. You know that. It, well, um, all right, so we got uh, micro-stamping passing out of the New York Assembly today. I, I can't imagine that was a huge shocker to you. Uh, no, it, it, it really wasn't. Um, what is the good news, though, is they only got 77 yay votes. Out of out of how how many are in the the assembly there? There's 150. Oh, that is good news. Oh yeah. So this was this was very close then. This was a battle. Wow. Okay. Now I'm interested, Tom. I thought this was just kind of one of those ho hum stories, you know, assembly passes gun control bill, but if they were only able to muster up 77 votes for this, and this was the second go, was this the second or the third go round for micro stamping? Third go round. Uh huh. So they're losing votes every time. Every time they're losing votes, and and uh, you know, uh, I, I I actually uh, up until today, there they had to <clears throat> they had to do some strong arming because the word that we were hearing is is that it was not going to come up for a vote because they didn't have the votes to pass it. Oh, interesting. All right, now on the Senate side, uh, do you feel pretty good that the Senate can block this legislation? Yeah, I feel pretty comfortable that the Senate will. The Senate will block this. Uh, I, I just, uh, I, I just can't see them passing it. The Senate, know, the Senate knows that this is just bogus, you know, uh, a bogus legislation that doesn't work. And you know, they they've been uh, responsible enough to look at the data and uh, in, in, in vote. And I think they'll vote with their intellect rather than vote the way, uh, you know, the Brady's or the New Yorkers Against Gun Violence tells them. Yeah. Well, and what's what's interesting, uh, Tom, is that, as I understand it, this bill was, uh, well, well, certainly still not acceptable to gun owners, uh, this bill was sort of watered down in, in terms of the language. Yeah, there's been, there's been a couple of things that they've done. Uh, they, they, they watered it down by saying that uh, it wouldn't be, uh, it wouldn't be implemented until uh, the attorney general's office uh, was sure that the, that it could be done for twelve dollars per gun. But that you know, see the 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 thing that wasn't brought to light on that was that twelve dollars meant just to buy the uh, the the component, not not necessarily manufacturing costs and everything involved in mm -hmm. it. Okay, but the interesting thing is is that this is a bill that really doesn't do anything anyway because. Uh, it, 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 in the language of the bill, it says that for any legitimate purpose, you can change the firing pin out. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. So, Tom, I mean, given the fact that they had to, they, they, yeah, they, they had to change the language. Um, they still only got seventy-seven votes. I, you know, what's going on in New York State here? Well, I'll tell you what's going on in New York State. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't. I, I think you, you may remember that I said that I saw a light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. You know, uh, and uh, right now, I, I, I will tell you that the the lights started flickering at the end of the tunnel two years ago when we had our first legislative uh, and outdoor sportsmen's um, legislative day. And um, the reason for that is Wayne Lapierre came into town, and he gave a, you know, a, a, a talk to God speech about violence that was going on. Uh, he said that he felt like he was in the belly of the beast, and you know, and, and laid it on the line that the 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 legislature, particularly the Democratic downstate liberals, were usurping the rights of all individuals and citizens of New York State. And I do think that that was the beginning. When you can put 3,000 to 3,500 people in the legislative office building in the middle of the week and New Yorkers Against Gun Violence come and they put 90 people there. Yeah, yeah. Well, again, you know, we, we keep telling these folks, <laughs> I know that our opponents keep saying that the, the gun lobby, uh, you know, is made up of, uh, you know, like four or five people. We keep telling them, no, no, they're actually gun owners uh, who make up the, the quote-unquote gun lobby. Uh, nice to hear that some legislators are actually uh, finally figuring this out. Now, i got to ask you as well, you guys tweeted something um, earlier today. NYC pistol license holders who receive a letter like this uh, please call Tom King. What letter are you talking about, Tom? 
Okay, there was a letter that um, New York State or the New York City Police sent out that um, essentially told the people of New York that um, any any magazine that held more than ten rounds was illegal and it was a felony, and that they weren't going to get their pistol permits uh, renewed if they possessed any of these magazines, and it, they they totally um, misrepresented the New York State magazine law because there are there are magazines that were grandfathered, you know, if they were manufactured and possessed prior to 1996. Oh, and there's nothing like that in the uh, in the letter. I'm looking no. at it. It just no. says uh, New York penal law makes it illegal to possess a large capacity ammunition feeding device, which is defined to include, among other items, a magazine that has the capacity to hold more than 10 rounds of ammunition. This provision of state law took effect November 1st, 2000. Uh, violation of this section is a Class D felony. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Wow. Wow. That's kind of sneaky, Tom. Oh, I think that's just downright dishonest. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So if a New York City license holder uh, got one of these letters, they need to contact the New York State Rifle and Pistol Association. Yes, they do. Uh, you know, at their earliest convenience, and that means as soon as possible. All right, Mr. King, thank you again for coming on the program. Always something happening in the Empire State. We'll be talking to you again very soon. Thanks a lot, Cam. Thank you, sir. Have a wonderful evening. Tom King joining us here on the program.